everyone, so today I'm filming my updated stash video as I probably won't be getting any more pads or if I do it'll only be one or two and probably it'll be panty lines which is that bottom drawer. So there weren't many major changes to it so I thought I'd just do you all a quick stash video. So I'm going to start from the bottom drawer, pull these out and show them each to you. So I've just laid out all my panty lines and light pads along here and I'm going to start from this end. So I'm not doing this any particular order, it's just how they were in the box. And you can see here there are a couple of, um, uh, what do you call it? I can't remember the name. <laughs> uh, but these are basically panty liners that um, I don't ever use, so I just have them in here because I never use them. And those are the inserts to the, oh god, lunar pads, that's it. To the lunar pads, but I don't use them ever, so... But anyway, up this end I have a green cycle 6 inch panty liner and I'm afraid I'm not entirely sure of the length of these so I will just say the brand and what their top fabric is. So this is a cotton green cycle cloth pad. This is a cotton velour um, environmental cloth pad. Panty liner, these are all panty liners. Um, this is just a, one of my very first Precious Stars ones I made many many months ago. Cotton top. This is a pink lemonade 6 inch minky topped. Um, pencil on it, it's really thick. Uh, this is a Mimi's Dreams, not sure of the length, panty liner and it's cotton topped fleece back. Um, then this is another Precious Stars, first one of my first panty liners, um, cotton topped. A party in my pants, a uh, nylon backed flannel topped uh, panty liner, or mini pad I think they call them. Let me try to slide these over a bit. And then another Precious Star pad that I put P1 on this one, I really didn't need to. A uh, cotton top. Then a Pampered Mama um, minky topped panty liner. A Lunar Pads uh, panty liner. Another Pink Lemonade minky topped panty liner. Another Precious Star, first edition Precious Stars pad, cotton top. A Domino Pad um, Bambi Velour topped panty liner and another really mini lunar pad. So those are all my panty liners and they work. I'm not a particular fan of any of them. Um, I have to say the ones I remember slightly reach for are these ones because they're so narrow in the gusset and I have really narrow panties so that's what I tend to reach for and I love this one as well. Uh, light pads. I have a yurt craft um, cotton top. Dare I say it, I don't like them. I think I might be the first person who doesn't like yurt craft. I just don't, the shape just doesn't work for me and uh, there's nothing wrong with the pad actually, her stitching is amazing but uh, the shape doesn't work for me so I very rarely use these and um, I have two of them ones over there. Uh, so yurt craft cotton topped, light flow, or actually it's a regular flow because it's got two stars but I use it as a light flow. Um, Mimi's Dream flannel topped uh, light flow. A Precious Stars, again one of the first I ever made, it still has the ribbon at the top. Um, cotton top longer light pad. I sometimes use this overnight on my very light nights. Um, this is a Creations by Five, one of my favourite pads. Um, the print is just adorable. The light doesn't do it any justice, but anyway. Uh, this is a light flow pad. I think it's nine inches. I'm not sure of the length of any of these, I'm afraid. Another minky topped Precious Stars pad. Um, minky top this time, sorry. And uh, I have no idea. Never use it. Uh, this is a... Oh, they tell you on the label, I think. There we go. Two, so this is a regular flow. Oh no. Oh, it's Mum's Crafts for You. That's it, boy. Doesn't tell you them. And I just, I'm obsessed with rainbows, so I saw this swell dyed OBV and I had to have it. So organic memory velour. A butterfly cloth pad, one of the first ones she made. Um, cotton top. A minky um, current Precious Stars pad. And with the blue microfleece backing. It's a light pad. And then the Eco Rainbow um, light pad. I was really negative about these in my first review. I actually really like them. I use them quite a bit. I use this one quite a lot, I have to say. Not sure if it's length. I think it might be 8 inches. Um, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I think it's about 8 inches. And then the other Yurt Croft pad that I never really use because I'm not a fan of it. But yeah. So it's just too wide actually. And she does do a second snap. So that's entirely my fault. But that is my panty liner and light flow stash. So on to my regulars. So... This is a Minky Topped Creations by Five. Um, I do know this one is a 12 inch. It was a custom order. Then these three are all, it's a hideous stain on that one. These three are all Mimi's Dreams 
regular pads and they still have the stitching going through the back on these old ones. Um, this is an environment, these are all cotton topped. This is an, this is an environmental Bambi Velour topped pad with a pretty pattern on the back. Um, not sure the size of this one, but I think it was about an 8 point something inch. It's, she does it in centimetres really. This is a tree hugger pad. This is just Rainbow Minky. That's uh, a regular pad. Then another Creations by 5 12 inch pad, but this one's cotton topped with the print that I absolutely love. Then an Eco Al by Netta. Uh, regular, I know this is 8 inches. This is a County Cloth Creations 9 inch regular pad. This is a super thin pad. Um, another Equal Albanetta, this is one of the first ones. This one's slightly thicker, but she makes them really thin now. Um, but yeah, this is a Terra Pads by Karma, the cotton batik top, so this is just cotton. Uh, another Minky, oh, these were all cotton, by the way. Um, another Minky Tree Hugger in the cherry print, which I love. Um, this is the one that I had the issue with, but she was really good with her customer service and sorted it out. Uh, this is an Eco Sewer P.O.L. backed 9 inch pad, I believe, in flannel. Really cute, I have yet to have a chance to use this because I only got this recently. Uh, this is a Lady Days cloth pad. I'm not sure what she calls them, but this is her regular pad that I got sent. It's a minky in the gelato, green gelato print. Um, I think it's about 9 inches. Maybe 10, I'm not sure, but I think it's 9. It, I'm not sure what she calls it, her medium pad or something like that. Then this is a Rebecca's Reusable suede cloth topped, uh, a little bit of a stain on there, suede cloth topped um, regular pad. She has a, an M on her snap for moderate but you can't see it here. A Creations by Five pad with a cotton top. A suede cloth terra pad by Karma. Um, I've actually just ordered some more from Karma so I'm really excited to get that. That is the other thing but we haven't quite, um, we're doing a trade so we've still got to figure them out. But it won't be anything particularly big. Um, then another Eco Albanetta in the really cute holiday um, sweets treats print. Um, oh, the fleece in the back of this one's really cute as well. It's cotton. These two minky pampered mamas. Uh, 9 inch and 11 inch, I believe. Then a bamboo velour essence of Eve moderate flow. A Eco Femme 9 inch pad, I believe. A lun uh, lunar pad that I never use because I don't like lunar pads. A uh, gem cloth pad with a cotton velour top. A green cycle cloth pad. Uh, this was one of her first ones. Then a precious two precious stars pads I made ages ago that were kind of like my first prototypes. So I never use these. The further up this end you go, I kind of don't use. Um, but the further down the end you go, the more popular I use. So that's my regular flow. On to the heavy days. So here I have an artful angel fish pad that I won in the giveaway that you've already seen. And it's super soft, minky. It's really cute. I can't wait to try it out. And this is a Mimi's Dreams uh, 10 inch pad, a uh, heavy flow. This is a Little Gumna. I'm always surprised by how much I use this pad actually. It's a Little Gumna in Bluebell Woods, I believe, OBV top. This is a flannel top from That Pink Sack, um, which is 12 inches. Another 12 inch pad from Creations by Five, but this is a um, heavy flow. A Pro Cool topped pad from Karma. I love this pad. I, I use it pretty much every time I have my period. Really cool kind of owl print fleece on the back. Um, then a 9 inch Pampered Mama pad. I'm not really good with 9 inches now. Um, I do, this is 9 inches admittedly. When I'm going out and about I can use 9 inches on a heavy day but often I'm in bed so that's why I need the extra length. Then this is a Domino pad uh, which is OBV topped and it's the it's a red one. You can't really see it in this light the colourway but still. Um, I think yeah it's 11 inches OBV topped and it's their heavy pad. This is seriously wide though. Um, if you, I can't wear this because the wing droop is awful on this one. But um, yeah so you might want to ask for an extra snap if you're buying off her and you have petite underwear. Uh, this is an Eco Albinetta. Again I, I'm shocked by how much I wear this considering it's flared and I'm not a fan of flares. But uh, it's really good and it doesn't move in your underwear which I really like. A custom tree hugger pad. I got this one and this one over here when the royal baby was born because it's got little crowns and I loved the mint colour. I'll get to that in a second. So that's a tree hugger um, heavy flow. Then this one is from Jimmy Riddle's OBV Topped. Haven't used it yet so I can't comment on it. This is a popples pad. I really don't like this pad because it's so flared and I just I don't like flares at all. 
Um, then obviously here's the other tree hacker pair that I really like. It's super soft. These are too minky, and this is just cotton. This is a flannel topped on a your flow. Um, really thick maxi pad. I haven't used this one really. Um, so yeah, I can't say but it has a wicking stitch, which I thought was really good. Then on to Eco Rainbow. Uh, this is an 11 inch Eco Rainbow pad. Originally I had this for overnight, but I've discovered I need 11 inches more on my heavy days than overnight, so um, I've put it down to my heavy stash. Then another Eco Rainbow, slightly shorter, 10 inches I think. A heavy flow um, Essence of Eve pad, bamboo, uh, sorry, cotton velour topped. And another Eco Rainbow here. And then these pads I never use at this end. Um, it's one of my first Precious Stars pads, Minky. I put a layer of PVC in the back, which is why I never use it because it's really sweaty. Um, this is a another Precious Stars one. I had a bit of a fault here. If I put it into this, it's another heavy. Uh, this is a Butterfly Cloth pads. Um, her old style. Cotton top, these are all cotton tops, and then these are two green cycle cloth pads at this end. So that is my heavy stash. And last but not least, my overnight stash. So the most used kind of are up this end and the least used are up this end. So here's my first ever kind of precious stars attempt. So uh, I don't ever use this one now. Um, yeah. Then this is another precious stars one that I did as an attempt. It has three layers of terry in it and it doesn't have any PUL. So yeah, but it's fleece backed, so anyone wanting a postpartum pad? <laughs> Serious absorbency. Yeah. Um, this is a cozy cloth pad, um, and it's 12 inches, flannel tops and flannel back. These two are cotton. Then here's another cotton top. This is a Orgo pad. Um, cotton top, 13.5 inches of absorb, and she layers it, but I can't feel it when I'm on, when I'm wearing it. This is a Pampered Mama. I absolutely love this minky. Uh, the cotton, cotton, cotton flannel. That is, these two are my minky too. And I love this print. And it's a 13 inch, 13.5 inch um, postpartum or overnight pad. And you can put the ice pack under there. And then last but not least, the Orgo pads. Again, a 13.5 inch. But this one um, is the square style that she does. And I love this minky too. So those are my pads. I don't have a lot of overnight pads because I only have actually one, maybe two nights I need to wear an overnight pad for. So it seems ridiculous to have any more um, when I have plenty here. Uh, so that's it for my pads. I do have another cozy cloth downstairs that's in my emergency bag. Um, other than that, that's all my pads. And I'll just do a quick count up for you. So there you go, all 81 of my pads in my cloth pad stash. That is way more than I need and I only use a couple of them every month. But uh, it's really quite fun to collect them and I really hope you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.